Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm gonna go into my weekly wish list or washout. So if you're new to the channel or you missed my other videos, my weekly wish list or washout is basically I go through um, new releases in makeup and I decide whether I think a product is going to go onto my wish list, whether I think it's worth purchasing or looking into, or whether I think it's a total washout. So as always, I will be throwing pictures up here so you guys can look along with me and everything is coming from Trend Mood's Instagram page, which I will link down below. I actually missed this video last week, so we do have quite a lot of products to get through. First off, the video heard around the world. Um, It's definitely unexpected. So basically, I understand that Tati was trying to do something different and do, you know, her own thing, and you really can't fault her. It's her own brand. She can do what she wants. But I think coming out with something so, so different from what was even remotely expected was a bit of a mistake, just PR-wise. So personally, this really isn't a product for me. I don't take vitamins unless I'm told to do so by my doctor. I don't know, like honestly watching her video made me feel just a little like uneasy, you know? Cause it's not like everyone else where you're coming out with a makeup product or you're coming out with a skincare product, which even then you would look into the ingredients of course, but this is something that you ingest. This is something that she's stating claims about, like it's supposed to reduce your wrinkles and make your hair grow and your nails grow. I'm just personally not comfortable with that and I was also really not comfortable with the way that they were handling the criticism on the video. I really didn't appreciate the fact that even like her supporters who were writing well-intentioned comments, like even the nicest comments that still said, you know, we think you missed the mark, you know, I really, I'm not interested in this, but you know, I, I look forward to what you're coming out with next. Even those comments were getting deleted and I really, I didn't appreciate that. I really didn't. I honestly haven't been subscribed to Tati for a while because I did get quite bored of her content. But I did see like on Trend Mood, you know, the sneak peeks of what her brand was coming out with. And if it had been makeup or skincare, I might have bought it. Okay, so moving on. So MAC is coming out with new versions of their Fix Plus and all of these look amazing. I really want to try out the matte Fix Plus. Like that's... I'm definitely going to buy that. I'm not sure what the, the gold and the pink light Fix Pluses are. I don't know if they're just like a scent like the rose and the coconut ones that came out or if they're like tinted or something. Um, so I probably won't pick one of those up until I see them used in like a review or a video, but I will definitely be picking up the, the matte Fix Plus when I see it next in stores or when I see it in stores. Urban Decay just released their Naked Petite Heat. I have the Naked Heat. I don't need this. I honestly don't really know if anyone needs this. I'm sure that if you're into makeup, you have these shades in your collection somewhere. It's not really necessary, especially for $30. Like, you can get a Wet n Wild quad, and that's like six bucks, if that, not even six bucks, and you get nice colors. So, I really don't think this is necessary. Kylie just released her Weather Collection. And it's like a highlighter palette, two eyeshadow palettes, some lipsticks, a really cool looking yellow eyeliner, like gel eyeliner. I think two more like the traditional bullet lipsticks and then some liquid shadows. So I actually did pick up the box that had the whole collection in it. I picked that up when it released. I was really excited about the eyeshadow palettes in particular. I think that the Calm Before the Storm, like that pastel one, looks stunning. And I'm really excited to try that one out. I also think the, the highlighter palette looks beautiful as well. I'm not sure if I could use like that third shade, the darkest shade right there. But the other three I think would look stunning, especially in the summer. Like that like salmon-y kind of color I think would look beautiful. So as soon as I get that collection in, I'm going to try everything out and I'll let you guys know. If you guys want to see a full video on that, let me know. I'd be more than happy to do that. MAC just came out with a new one of their like MAC Girls palettes. This one's called the Risk Taker palette. It's just a bunch of warm neutrals again and a giant highlighter. I have one of their palettes. It's the Basic B palette. Um, I thought it was alright. I'm not really interested in getting the Risk Taker one just because I know I have all these shades in my collection already. Natasha Denona is coming out with a new palette, the Tropic palette. I think the bottom row is gorgeous. Like stunning but I'm not gonna buy this palette just because of the bottom row like 
it's just a warm neutral palette again a warm neutral palette and these are expensive i already picked i have the other two palettes this size the sunset palette and the lila 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 palette and like i'm good i'm good for now natasha like i get you're trying to do something different but it just isn't different enough if the whole palette had been like the blues and the greens and the purples i might have i love green but no morphe is coming out with a new collaboration with bretman rock i actually have no idea who that is um so sorry for that but the highlighter palette honestly i think i could only use two shades from the highlighter palette i know it's affordable and it comes with a brush so if you don't have um, a big highlighter collection you're looking to expand i think this is gonna be a good product but i don't think i would get enough use out of it so that's gonna be a pass for me and the last one this is a highlighter from fenty beauty it's the dirty 30 highlighter um for her birthday that's coming out or it's already out i'm not sure yet um oh no it's already out it's already out so basically it's her trophy wife highlighter but it has three x's inside of it instead of the fenty beauty mark i'm not going to purchase this just because i know i can't use it it's not made for me i'm not going to buy a highlighter to use it as eyeshadow or just to hold on to it like i want to actually like use my products um and i know like the majority of people that are going to be buying this are probably buying it because it's her like limited edition birthday highlighter i don't think it's necessary i think it is beautiful the packaging is stunning but i'm not going to spend how much is it 34 dollars for a paperweight okay so i lied the last one i'm going to go over is the venus xl palette another warm neutral not warm neutrals but a lot another warm red palette i have the modern renaissance i have the blood sugar palette i have so many i really don't need this one i haven't tried anything from lime crime i know that's another you know brand that has a bunch of drama um associated with it but honestly i don't know the whole situation it happened before i got into makeup so i'm a bit ignorant on the topic but i haven't tried anything and so far nothing has really enticed me to try Okay, so that is everything for this video. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like my weekly wish lists or washouts. Let me know what you think of these products down below. And don't forget to let me know down below if you want to see a video on the new Kylie Cosmetics collection. I haven't gotten the shipping notification yet. Hopefully I will get that soon and I can get a little bit of time with it before I put the video up. I do want to try out everything and I won't be able to do that all like in on camera in a first impression so i do want to try everything out but if you want to see that video go ahead and let me know down below don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon before you leave so that you can catch the rest of my videos as they come out i post videos every monday wednesday and friday and sometimes a bonus video on tuesday or thursday so i hope you'll subscribe and i hope i'll see you in my next video bye